as many of you would be expecting me to write a routing guide here i am with the routing guide for terminator bus as we saw with root checker the phone is currently not rooted let us open the srs root for android application on our windows pc now we need to click the smart root button in the srs root application clicking the button we will begin uh, initiate the process The ADB connection is successful. The SRS root is application is now trying out different exploits to root the phone. Uh, first two exploits have failed and now the third exploit is asking me to install some application. I have to ignore this warning and install the application. Now it asks me to choose an exploit on the phone. Now I will choose to install Super SU and click on Boromir. As the message says, the phone has successfully been installed with Super SU. Now pressing OK will confirm the process and will reboot the device. After which we will be able to check if the phone was rooted or not. I chose to install Super SU over Super User because I had earlier tried installing Super User and the routing process failed. So the next time when I tried Super SU application, the phone successfully rooted. So I will recommend going with Super SU. The phone will now reboot. It's going to take a bit of time. In comparison to my older Android devices, this phone does boot up fast and it's less annoying of a task to wait for the process to complete now message is saying that the android is upgrading it won't take long now i'm gonna unlock the device oops that's gonna work let's open the root checker i will click the verify root access button if a super su Popa asks me to provide permissions then everything is okay. And that's taking a bit of time. Oh here we go, here is the super SU pop up. I have granted the permissions and as we can see that's it root checker confirms that the phone is now rooted.